what is going on youtube this is trey back here again on the tear pad and uh welcome back of course um today we do got a little mail day coming up with three packages and then one of the packages at the end um from stacks and packs we also ended up getting um a package that we can open after the mail day and it's a mystery repack and you get five packs um it's a mix of nba mlb and nfl and it's kind of something that they came out with um pretty much as soon as the coronavirus hit um it i i'm laughing because the, the, the coincidence of when it came out not that the coronavirus is funny at all um obviously it's a serious matter and hopefully we can get past this soon um but so yeah it's five packs 24.99 so five dollars a pack pretty much and then you're paying two dollars and 99 cents in shipping for a total of twenty seven ninety eight, um, that's pretty much before taxes. Um, so pretty much five bucks a pack, uh, and hopefully we see some good stuff in there. I've never opened one of those, um, so hopefully we can get some good stuff out of that afterwards. But all right, let's go ahead and get into this mail day. First off, um, I believe that the first two, this one I know was a Facebook purchase this um this first one though i'm not i can't remember what it was honestly um was this hmm Oh, okay. I know what this is. This is sick, actually. This is really sweet. I'm actually really happy with this. Um, so I, I think this was the one that I got um, on Facebook. I was watching something, and I ended up finding a opening for the hybrid um, boxes of the Select. And I ended up buying... I got like in one of the minis for it to try and get one. I think it had like two minis and lost or one or something like that. And then I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to buy a pack. And I ended up buying a pack and I think I did pretty well. Um, it ended up being like $150 a pack, which yeah, that's pretty, pretty darn expensive, especially for like me still getting into this. Like I don't even have a big channel. I don't like have a big store on eBay. I don't even have a, a full actual store. Um, I just sell on eBay right now currently and i'm probably going to get into like selling more on facebook and things like that but um dang these are stuck together really really well and i have like no nails to peel this tape i'm super sorry guys um dang all right so now that that's off so yeah this was the pack that i ended up buying so i got a Keldon johnson rookie got a nikola vucevic Marvin Bagley the third and these are the this is the hybrid pack so these are the ones that you get 24 cards in a box the boxes I believe are going for like almost 500 now on eBay um and so I ended up getting them for a dollar 150 for a pack so they're selling for pretty much 600 a pack a 600 for a box Marvin Bagley third Ben Simmons and then we got the disco Eric Pascal rookie card which is pretty sweet uh I think I saw one of these Go for around 100 bucks, um, And this one's really sweet. It's gold. So I hit... So you're only supposed to get one disco in per, per pack. And there were some people that didn't get any in a pack. And I got two discos in one pack. So I was pretty pretty psyched to see that. But I got a Bowl Bowl Gold out of 10 variation disco card. So numbered right there, 7 out of 10. I believe I saw this one go for around 100 or 150 on eBay. So I pretty much made my money back, maybe a little bit more. But yeah, so getting both those. Those cards are really sweet. Happy with that for sure. And then I got a Keldon Johnson rookie. Hopefully he ends up panning out. I actually just purchased some more rookies of him. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and put these in the back for you guys to see. All right, all right. This next one, I know exactly what this card is, and this is a big one. And this was, like I said, it was a Facebook one, but it wasn't a purchase actually. It was um, one of the Facebook ones where you there's like ten spots. You pick a spot. If you're in the bottom like two or three, 
then you have to pay like a bunch you have to pay like more money than you normally would in um a raz so instead of buying a spot for like 750 you take a spot and if you're you come in like eighth ninth or tenth then you have to pay like 55 bucks or something like that and so yeah this guy packages really well too um and you will definitely see why and i definitely appreciate it from him because this was this is huge uh just an absolutely free card it's funny because i didn't even know he just randomly messaged me and he's like hey i don't know if you already saw or not but you ended up uh winning the free card so if you want to go ahead and give me your address and i'll ship it to you um and yeah i was so i was pretty psyched to see this um yeah look at this just wrapping job that's crazy oh he sent it with more cards too and then okay <laughs> i don't know what these papers are that he sent with it um these are like insurance cards i think yeah these are <laughs> policy stuff that was just for packing but that was pretty cool um dang yeah he he packages this really well i i really appreciate it um I have to give a shout out to him in just a second. Not sure if we'll even see the video, but you know, gotta give kudos to him. Yeah, Brett, Brett Des Destroches, I, I believe it is. He's in a Facebook group that I'm in, and I ended up getting one of these hitting this from him. So that was pretty sweet. All right, that's actually a pretty sweet card from Marcus Saul right there. This must be last year's though, when he was with the Grizzlies. And then there's a silver in there too. So that one, a couple silvers. Dang, these are sweet cards. Chris Paul, these were these are just all thrown in on top. Lock it up, Rudy Gobert. Ooh, okay. Is that numbered? No, it's just a bit. Okay. And yep, the big guy, right there. Right there. I'm gonna put that out to the side. Let's see what else we got here. Serge Ibaka got a Dennis Schroeder. These are some sweet, dude. Okay, so he loaded me up with a, like, a bunch of parallels. That's awesome. I love parallels. I'm a huge parallel guy. Um, they just look sweet, and on top of it, they're way cheaper. But yeah, so here we go. Here's the card. And if you look, the corners seem to be in really great shape. And then you can see the dots. We got one, two, three. And then the fourth dot is like right on that line. And it's like the same thing right over here. So the centering is like, I, I believe it's perfect. So I might end up hanging onto this and sending it into PSA once they reopen or BGS. Um, I know that there are some um, submission pages that you can still send in. Um, I know 502 Frank, shout out to him. Um, I like watching his videos. He's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet to watch. Um, I know that he is still doing submissions until April 10th. So I don't know if you guys have enough time to get them into him if you guys wanted to, um, but you definitely could there. I'm probably going to end up starting to send stuff into him um, for the next submission that he does because it's, it's to BGS. It's not to um, PSA, but it's a flat fee of, I believe, $24, um, including shipping. And so that's not too bad. And it's a 30-day submission, which is awesome, which is not bad at all because he also does like the whole cleaning service and everything with it, which is really, really nice and very helpful for those of us that just don't feel like we have time to do that kind of thing. Um, so yeah. All right. And then we will go ahead and get into this next thing that I ended up getting from stacks and packs. And I honestly can't remember what this was. I've gotten a couple of things recently from stacks and packs, but actually, no, this is what, yeah, this is what, um, so my buddy sent me this and he wanted me to show it because he ended up buying some pulls off stacks and packs. So he he messaged me. He's like, yo, I sent it to you. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll open it on the channel. So we got Mike Weber, a uh, rookie card, limited out of 199 We got a Jamal Dean rookie card. Ooh, Michael Pittman. Michael Pittman. I think he's actually going to be a good receiver in the NFL. Um, he's just a big dude. He's almost like a tight end. We got a pretty cool Mookie Betts, numbered four out of fifty. Um, and what is that? Um, was it tops? Doesn't even say. What? I don't know, dude. This is I don't. 
comment down below if you know what um series that's from i just obviously it's top since 2018 i believe but not really sure other than that and then we got a sean Mannion, um clear clear relief potential these actually cards are pretty sweet number out of 10 it's pretty crazy and we got a luke falk rookie card and the congratulations what do we got here Kendall Wright, Robert Griffin the third, and a Terrence Williams. Um, I don't believe these are rookie cards, but these are when Tops was still big, and I, we miss you, Tops for sure. Um, just dude, like these kind of cards were so sick when you'd get them. Oh, those are sweet. Just like a triple patch. I haven't seen a triple patch in forever. Um, like Panini definitely does a good job, but like I still miss, I still miss them. I still miss Tops a lot, dude. Tops has some nice stuff. All right, so nothing big, nothing really big there, but just some cool cards that he ended up sending me to show you guys and open up on the channel. So I appreciate that. Shout out to Garrett Christie. He uh, is a subscriber and a viewer of the channel. So he's probably going to end up seeing this and be happy. Um, so next we got the stacks and packs open that we're going to do for what I already showed you for the um, $24.99 and then there's um, shipping and tax on top of it that I didn't shipping included that I talked about but um, ooh, we got a gypsy queen hopefully that's a hobby pack if these are hobby packs then the $24.99 will definitely be worth it and we will find out stacks and packs label we got a contenders okay so where where oh where does the opening start there it is Listen, this is nicely packed, dude. Yeah, so five packs. Is this the hobby pack? Eight trading. It is the hobby pack. Okay, so we did get the Gypsy Queen hobby pack. So I'm curious if all of these are hobby packs. And we also got a Tops um, 2020. You can tell just by the color right there. Um, I've been seeing a lot of openings on Tops, so that's how I know. So yeah, so here's the sticker. You can go to Stacks and Packs. They're on Facebook, and they also have their own website um, that you can go check out. It's pretty sweet. They got a bunch of good stuff. Um, all right. Dude, I'm excited for this. I wasn't sure how good this was going to pan out, but let's we'll see. All right, so, yeah, we did get the tops, and I'm pretty sure that these are all hobby. Yeah, these are all hobby. So we got Panini Contenders 2016 Basketball. We got 2020 tops, um, hobby. So hopefully we can hit a, you know, like a Yordan Alvarez rookie card. Hopefully we can hit a Yordan Alvarez auto. That'd be sweet. Um, we got a select 2013. Who's in this? Is it uh, 13? I can't remember who's actually in this pack. Um, so we'll go ahead and set football in the middle. And then we got another basketball from Don. It's Don Russ, but what year is that? 2015. I know 2014, 2015. So um, if you can remember what players were in that one, you guys can go ahead and comment down below. I'm not 100% sure. And then we got a 2020 Gypsy Queen. So I, I'm not surprised that we're not going to find 2019 or 2018. Um, baseball just because of how high valued those packs are right now um so we'll go ahead and start with the select and then we'll do basketball no we'll do baseball last so we're gonna go to football basketball then baseball um i forgot to mention this at the very beginning of the video um obviously you guys know this is the tear pad but um if you don't already and you want to you can go ahead and check us out on facebook at the tear pad instagram at the underscore tear underscore pad and same thing for ebay um so i am selling on ebay right now obviously and then i will be selling in the future um pretty soon here with instagram so if you want to go ahead and follow those and if you haven't already um like the video subscribe to the channel and uh leave a comment for sure um for things that I can improve on or things I could do for the next video, but let's go ahead and get into this first pack. All right. I like doing these just because like you kind of get a variety of older years too, that like you forget were packs at the time and you're like, you see some cool older style cards, which is pretty fun. We did get a backwards card. I'm not sure if that's an auto. 
we'll find out. So select 2013, we got Ahmad Bradshaw, Colin Kaepernick, the one, the only. Let's bow and take a knee. No, I, I actually like Colin Kaepernick, so it's all right. Ooh, cool. Joe Montana throwback. Go ahead and set that there. We got a Drew Brees select. And then a Wes Welker. I like these select cards. These ones are pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and see if we got an auto. This autograph is guaranteed by Panini. Mike James. Okay. Nothing crazy. I'm not sure where Mike James is now. But that was still cool to pull an auto in the very first pack that we opened. And for, what, $24.99 that I bought this thing for? Like, that's pretty sweet. I'll take that for sure. All right. So we'll go ahead and set those over there. All right. So moving on to basketball now. We got the 2014-2015 um, Donruss. Hopefully we can get some nice hits out of these. Um, Kurt Henrich, Devin Harris, Marcus Morris, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and we got another backwards card coming up. It's a, it's a Kyrie. Dude, if we hit a Kyrie auto, I will be, I will be psyched. I would, I would definitely be buying more cards from <laughs> Stacks and Packs for sure in the future. We got, whoa. Um, okay. So we got two backwards cards. We got the rookies, CJ Cox. Um, we'll just set the auto off to the side a little bit more. Put the, you know, there we go. It's weird because I always do everything opposite um, for some reason of everybody else. Everybody always likes to put their better cards on this side and their worst cards on this side. But I don't know. I'm a left or right kind of person. Um, it's just who I am. Um, I think it's kind of. Interesting though. So then we got the Ricky El Rubio Elite, which is weird because I didn't know Elite was from Donruss. Okay. I thought Elite was just like its own thing. I know it's part of Pinini, but that's interesting. So we got a Kyrie Irving. Could this be an autograph? I didn't mean to show the name on there, but. Um... Oh, okay. It is a press proof. Number five of ten. Holy cow. Super short print. Here we go. All right. We will take that. That is sick. Gold press proof. Number five of ten. Dang, dude. This video is killing it right now. Holy cow. I'm already at 18 minutes. Dang. Okay, so I got to definitely speed this video up. Guys, I am very sorry um, for that. Um... Dang. All right. So we got that press proof there. That was sweet. Gosh, guys. I'm sorry about that glare. Um, all right. Hopefully that's a little better. All right. Let's just keep going with this video. Still got three more packs. I don't want this to be too long. But dang. We got some major hits so far. So for 25 bucks. I mean, like, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'll end up uh, top loading that probably later. But, all right, so we're starting off with the Russell Westbrook. These cards are always sweet. We got a Vince Carter throwback, Anthony Davis. Got a game day, Wade Baldwin. Dude, I was a big fan of him when he first came out, honestly. And that, that is a rookie card, I believe. Um, I believe so. Class Reunion, Buddy Healed, and Daniel Ochifu, and Ryan Archinato. Ryan Archinato is a beast. Jamal Murray, School Colors. So that must be his rookie card. Then we got a Paul George throwback, Old School. Um, That's definitely his rookie. I don't know, 15, yeah. Or 16. Um, I don't believe Buddy Hill was drafted in 2006, 2017. 
I don't believe so. So I'm just going to go ahead and... So these are the rookies then. We got Jamal Murray, got Ryan Arcinato, and Wade Baldwin. Buddy Heald was, I'm pretty sure, drafted in like 2014 maybe. So we'll put those there. I am going to sleep up this Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray has been killing it lately. All right, so let's get into this. Baseball now. Hobby pack. Oh, I should have opened the Gypsy Queen last, honestly. I love Gypsy Queen. Gypsy Queen's pretty sweet. I haven't really opened, I don't believe, any Gypsy Queen on the channel yet. Um, I like doing a lot of these repacks kind of things. But comment down below what you guys think I should do. Right, and we do got a curved corner coming up, so it is going to be one of those... Um, uh, what are they? I can't even remember what they're called. So we got... Let's just keep going. So we got Reyes... We got Orner, and for those wondering what the backs look like, if you haven't already gotten to see them, there is the back of the card for you. So really no stats or anything like that, just kind of like a little description of how their last year went or something like that. So, all right, and then we got Mondesi. I don't, I don't know. Um, a Trevor Story. Okay, that Thunder. That's nice. Actually, I just hit a Trevor Story. Um, silver, uh, silver chrome out of um, Heritage back in 2019. So that was pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and put that there in that pile, my hit pile, or nice card pile at least. Um, Mazzara, um, I can't even pronounce some of these names, dude. I pay attention to baseball, but I mean, I pay attention a lot more to basketball and football. Um, we got Grit. Richuk. and we got Jansen. So we got the one, we got one rookie, I believe, out of that pack. All right, so not too bad. Um, nothing great, but hey, we already had some nice ones. We already got a Kyrie Irving, number 10, press proof as a short print. And then we also got that auto, which is pretty sweet to see. So we got the 2020. Baseball Series 1 tops. Let's get it. We got Turan. We got LeMahieu. Aaron Judge. Cody Bellinger. I believe these odds are 1 in 24. Um, so the odds of the auto are not very high. Um, so we got Giles there. Tyler Glass now. Uh, Kikuchi, I believe I said that right. We got a close call with uh, Goodrum there diving into probably second base. I'm assuming. Um, I'm a Tigers fan, so uh, Goodrum's on my radar for sure. Scott Gillinger. Are we gonna hit a rookie? Tanaka. Ian Desmond. We got a Frank Thomas. 35 anniversary throwback to 1985. And then we got a Nelson Cruz, and we got a Yoan Moncada. So we didn't even get a single rookie card out of this. How did how did we not get a? I don't believe we did. Let's look real quick. Not a single rookie card. I don't believe. Dang. All right, let's go ahead and look for the short prints right here. No, so short prints, um, the average, the, like the number that you, you always see is 269. So you're looking for pretty much anything other than 269 on these. Um, it's kind of hard to see. It's so small, especially like looking at the screen. But yeah, so we didn't get any short print. Um, not surprised. It's weird because usually you do get like something, um, usually per pack or something like that. But All right, so a little run through of our hits real quick here. I'm not going to go through the opening hits, um, just the packs real quick. So we got the Frank Thomas throwback, and we got the Horner rookie card, we got the Trevor Story Thunder, the Jamal Murray School Colors rookie card, we got the Game Day Wade Baldwin, Collegiate Connections, Ryan Ar 
Arcanado and Daniel Ochifu. It's a tough name to say. Now you got CJ Wilcox, rookie card. We got the Mike James rookie card from Tampa Bay. Rookie auto, actually. And then we got the gold press proof Kyrie Irving, 5 of 10 super short print. Um, so that was a pretty nice one to hit right there. Pretty excited about that. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for today's video. Um, if you haven't already, um, like the video.